Hey y'all, welcome to Happy Art Creations. Hey, I'm going to be trying today the Triple Decker Sandwich Pour that Sarah Mac does, Julie Cutts does, and they both do wonderful jobs. And so I'm hoping to do it a wonderful job myself. Um, today's my first one of the Sandwich Pour. And I've been doing this a year, and I've never gotten around to doing it. Done flip cups, but that's different than a sandwich pour. Before I get started and let you know what colors and stuff I'm using, I want to show you what I did yesterday. I did a, a uh, taped newfangled Dutch ring pour. Um, it's still a little wet in the middle and stuff, but I was able to remove the tape. And oh my goodness, wait till you see this. Look, see how the edges came? And then it's... Oops, see, I didn't, I taped above it. And y'all, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm very pleased with this. And I was a little off center, but you know, I don't care on this one. This one looks good just like it is. And I kind of like sometimes it to be asymm uh, asymmetrical. So, um, anyhow, I'm going to set this down and we're going to get started. But yay, I'm loving this. Hang on. Okie dokie, Smokey. Well, what we're going to do first, and I'm going to show you my colors, and then I'm going to mix my cups. Okay, I've got a 10 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. Okay, uh, it's standard. It's a standard um, cup um, sides. I can never get that out right. But let me show you what I have. For my highlight color, or my depth of color, I'm going to use some Payne's Gray. Now, that kind of feels too thick, so... See, it's so important to have consistency. consistency. Um, say that five times fast. Anyhow, one thing about the uh, this uh, sandwich pour, dang habit. This sandwich pour is is that your white is going to be thinner than all of your colors. So, got Payne's Gray from Goldens. I got the Chroma Xanadu Gold. And just it's it's pretty it's pretty thick, but it's nice. And I definitely have more paint here than I'll ever need, but I'll use it for sure for other things. Um, I have some Deco Art Berry. Okay, love that. Let's see. I have Royal Fuchsia. All of these have um, been a, a little bit of the iridescent from Sargent has been put in it. Um, Pyrol Orange. I mean, it's pretty, and it's, you know, there's a good mound on a mound on a mound. These are pretty thick. These are thicker. These would be great for a ring pour or anything like that. This one's called Persian Red. I never understood that, but I guess the base is red because it looks like a dusty, oh, dusty pink to me. Um, I'm hoping my paints are not too thick, okay? And then I'm using just Artist Loft White. My consistencies are approximately, um, with this, <clears throat> Excuse me. One part paint to one part Floetrol. Now, um, none of these are what we call craft paint, so these were a little bit thicker, so I had to add a little bit more Floetrol, but you do it for consistency. And see how that's coming down? That's how I'm wanting mine today, okay? Um, anyhow, very, very, very pretty. My uh, white paint is two parts Floetrol and one part paint. So this is definitely uh, more fluid than the other because when we do put it in it, um, it needs to move over that. All right. So are y'all ready? Because I am. Um, let me put this back underneath here because there's a little technique. I'll get my everything ready. All right. So the colors I'm going to use together. I think I'm going to mix up my cups a little bit. Okay, so they're really pretty. All of them, oops, all of them are going to have this color, the blue, and the gold. So, um, be kind of like that. She didn't put, or they didn't put that many colors, and I think maybe Julie put more than Sarah, but it doesn't matter. I just liked all these colors, and one of these colors here is just a mishmash. I think it's this one right here. This one's a mishmash of all different colors to kind of get a, um, I don't know, salmon-y kind of, a salmon-y kind of, sort of. I don't know. 
Um, these are pretty yummy. These are pretty yummy. So all of them are going to have this like that. So there's going to be five colors plus the white. So, mm -hmm, who knows? I may add some more stuff in. I don't know. Not add more in, but colors. So, all right. I know I'm going to do probably two cups for sure. This is just a 10 by 20. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a bottle of the white mixture. Um, I mixed up a whole bunch, but I'm thinking it might just be easier. Can you see what I did? That like that. Okay. Um, then you're going to carefully just lay your colors on top of the white. You're not. I'm not going to pour mine in. Okay. What makes this nice is is that um, it would have been nice to have a little squirt bottle, but um, is that it's going to be just smooth colors. All right. Then I'm going to add this blush. And see how I'm just kind of layering them on top of the white. Speaking of white, I think my white has a few bubbles, bubbles, blobs. It was at the end of my flow trawl, and I, I know better. I should have strained it. The rest of them I strained. I thought, oh, no, we're not doing that. All right, that's pretty. Then I'm going to add some of my paints. I don't know if I'm going to do two, one layer, I mean two layers or three. So it could be a double decker or a triple decker. I just kind of want to see what it looks like in my cup. Um, but the white is going to flow over and it's not going to, it should not be one big blob of color. Okay. And here's the Xanadu by Gro uh, Chroma. It's, I'm not going to say it's, I mean, it's kind of sort of similar when, if you put it up against maybe the 24 karat gold, I don't know. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to use that. I, you know, I love my Deco Art 24 karat gold, but I have these and they're good uh, metallic. So, yeah, I would definitely. Okay, next layer is my white. I'm just going to put it on top. I'm not going to let it, I'm not like spraying it in there. I'm just going to cover it in white. Okay, I know I'm going to put another layer. So, my next layer. It's going to be like this. We're going to start with this one. I'm excited about this, y'all. Okay. Then we're going to put the pretty salmon. If y'all, if I haven't told you, some of you have watched, some of you are just come and see me for the first time. But I get these little spoons right here. They're little baby spoons, and I get them at the dollar store for um, 12 for a dollar. No kidding. Um, and then I'm going to end this. But they're really, really, really nice. And on this one, I'm going to put the golden first and the blue on top on this layer. I'm wanting it to have some more bright next to those pinks. That's my thought process. Okay. And then my blue, I'm probably going to get triples. I mean, I still need a good, I don't know, five plus ounces to cover this. But um, let's see. We've got 10 by 10 times 20 is 120. Here's the white. And multiply that by 28 so it's going to be five point blah 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 something all right i'm going to go ahead and put some more colors in this one here i'm just going to do it random on this one okay that's pretty random anyhow yeah i'm putting colors that i think might look super duper next to each other this time look at that This was Anita's, this right here. Um, there's a few things with Anita's I really like. I like their white metallic. I really like that. And my daughter was doing a, um, a craft and she had all these like extra paints left over. I says, well, sure, I'll go ahead and use it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like Anita's. They're not, it's not bad at all, really. 
It's one of the better, what I would call, craft paints. The better crafts. This is a little time consuming, I know. Did I miss something? One, two, three. Eh, maybe, but let me put the blue. And the blue is just going to be one of those kind of, it, it should kind of center it, or not center, yeah, but kind of bring it all together. You know, there's one color, like if you're decorating in a house, there's always one color that brings it down to earth and kind of makes it all go together. Well, I think the blue and the gold, and I'm probably going to put a little bit more gold on this one. All right. This part right here is the hardest part, and this one I'm going to put a thicker layer on this one. Okay, cup one. Oops, cup one. You really can't see. I'm afraid to turn it over, so I'm going to leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right. Now we're going to do this. Now that I know, get the hang of it, I'll put a little extra in the bottom there. I really like this um, using that bottle. All right, let's go. You ready? Put this on top. I made these paints up yesterday. But I've stirred them quite a bit today because um, I think I'm going to put gold in this part quite a bit because um, overnight they seem to thicken because I was using two paint except for the um, Anita's and of course the white I think that's going to give it I love this little color right here so I think it's going to give it some subtlety I'm hoping that it blends well Totally random. <laughs> totally. Let's put some salmon. You know, I've been listening to myself on my videos. You know, I've been, I'm trying, I'm trying, y'all, and I realize, you know, I grew up, I was a Navy brat, and um, so I was born in Rhode Island, and I lived all over the United States, and in fact, there's only one state I've not been to, and that's Hawaii. And I've lived all over the place, and then I marry a Air Force fella. And our last, well, our last two bases, one was in Alaska, and then we moved to his retirement base in Mountain Home, Idaho. Y'all, I'm totally, well, back to it. I, I get distracted. Um, I am blonde. I'm not going to say I'm not blonde. I, you know, a squirrel comes and I, whoop, oh, squirrel! Um... But anyhow, I was listening to myself, and I can tell where I've lived. My dad was 16 when he retired to Texas. And, y'all, we had never lived anywhere but big cities. Our last base was San Francisco. I mean, I had lived in major cities where bases were. And um, so I have a mix of a, an accent, but, man, I really, you can tell that my dad that we moved all over the place because certain words I say I go oh you can tell where I was when I learned that word or my phonetics and stuff like that so I don't know y'all sometimes I laugh at myself and I guess it's okay to laugh at myself because by golly I'm goofy <laughs> when my husband speaking up when my husband was um, asking me to marry him he, um, he says you know I know that you're really goofy at times, but I just love you. And then he asked me to marry him, and it was just so sweet. I just I thought, oh, he's such a doll baby. And he is. He's my treasure, and I sure wouldn't trade him for anything in the whole wide world. Would not trade him. He's like my favorite person. My favorite person. And then I've got daughters and grandsons. We held out for a while. To, we had a granddaughter on back order. <laughs> Anybody do that? Um, and so we had a granddaughter, last layer, granddaughter on back order, but it didn't happen. So I'm blessed with 
three beautiful grandsons. So, and then when we retired, we moved to, um, let's see, we moved to Texas. Because that's where most of my family ended up being. So Texas is what we call our hometown, and we love living in Tennessee. And we moved here to be closer to at least one of my daughters. I have another one that lives up in the Northwest. And um, anyhow, it's kind of hard to pick. My daughters were, you know, young. And one stayed in Idaho when we retired to Texas, and the other one, while we were in Alaska, moved to Nashville area. So, anyhow, we just prayed about it and said, Lord, where do you want us to be? And this is where we needed to be. And so that's why we're here. I never would have thought I'd ever live in Tennessee, but honestly, I'm going to say I love it. This is the most time-consuming part of it right here. Once we get moving, this is going to be, like, rocking, right? I don't know about that color next to it, but, you know, I'm going to do it anyhow. I think that orange is going to be so gorgeous. Push come to shove. I believe this is enough paint. But push come to shove. If it is not, I have more paint. Absolutely. I think if I continue doing this, and I probably will, because I'm thinking about stuff already, um, then I'm going to put these paints in bottles. Okay, last one. Here we go. This Your top coat... If I understand correctly, they put extra on those, and so that's what I'm doing. And then at the end, they put more white down here so it flows. So here we go. And what Sarah does is she lets it, she starts here at the top, right here. This is my top, and I'm going to pour to about right here, and then I'm going to lift it back up and then move it around and add some white at the bottom and stuff so are you ready I'm ready man I hope this works okay here we go and you just go back and forth and I'm there's more white on the top which is good and some of these colors you won't see until you move them around but already I can see that they're softer which is what I want it they might be thinner than I want it but I'm not sure kind of hard to make those decisions right, when you're looking at it like this. Again, here's that white, and I'm just going to go ahead and overcut cut it. This is going to be super soft, super soft. See the colors underneath? Oh, I'm so excited. All right. I don't see the gold coming up, but that's okay. This is a lesson to be learned. Just put some of this right up in here, or maybe it's a little bit more white. Eh. All right, it's oh, can you see the cells? Look, because they're popping up. All right, this is gorgeous. Let me what do I do with them? Oh, there's two of them. Wand. Note to self don't put the cups together. All right, oh, this is so pretty. Let me see if I can bring you down. I'm getting better at it. I'm not going to move the painting yet, but can you see it? Look how soft it is. Okay, so I'm going to move it a little bit this way. And I'm not going to try to do too much moving, but these colors, oh my gosh, look at them. Well, you can see where I was trying to do the jiggity-jaggity out of my cup. All right. So on this one, I went ahead and just poured it. And this is so that the rest of this can flow this way a little bit and that more things flow more nicely. Um, I've got plenty, I think, of white up here. I kind of don't want to lose too much more of that top. Yeah, the hardest part of this is um, just the, uh, what's it call it, 
loading your cups by golly all right I have more white if I need it are you ready here we go I'm gonna move it down this way now let's see what I get maybe I'm gonna go side to side let me do side to side I do have some wormies it looks like not too many I'm gonna kind of move this way I don't want to lose that one in that top right too much let me bring it back oh my gosh this is gorgeous I'm going to bring this up again just a little bit more. I want some more in that, that corner over there. Just a little. So it's not totally white, which I'm not, you know. Wow. Look at this. Okay, now we're going to move it slowly, y'all. Slowly and slowly. You know, I thought my orange might come out more, but I don't see it. Next time I want more orange. Definitely the pinks are moving. All right, we'll keep moving it slowly. Kind of rock it back and forth, y'all, because I don't want it to be too severe when it moves. So we're going to bring it this way and down. You know what I like about this is that it... Um, it's very earthy in the fact, you know, layering kind of like, um, you know, pebbles and rocks and water flowing. And I'm okay with this, y'all. Okay, let me bring that back this way a little. I'm trying to get it to flow over, and then I'm going to bring it back up. So you need every bit of that paint, basically, just for the flowing part. Let me do that. Bring it back over. Since it's at the bottom, I'm just going to bring it back over. Then I'm going to bring it back up. Now let me get it back to center. Look at that. Oh, wow. I am sold on this. I think I might even prefer this over a flip cup. Um, man, you could do just about any color combination in this, but... I kind of like pinks and blues and oranges and, I don't know, yellows. <laughs> I know, I try using yellow. Yellow, I try really hard to do yellow. And by golly, um, it's just really hard. I'm going to try to get that, like, crevice of rocks right over there into that corner just a bit. I'm going to move it very slowly. But, y'all, I'm thinking it's going to be a, you know, woohoo kind of moment. Okay, now let me bring it back. I love this. Look at that. I'm going to bring this up for y'all to see, but this is like, okay, gorgeous. Um, looks like I got a body part, but we're going to work on that body part. It happens. All right. I'm going to wipe my hands off. Think about it. I'm going to oogle it. That's a wet rag. I need a dry one. Okay. So, that's the body part. All that's going to be said is that. Now, there are ways of fixing them. And I'm going to hopefully, hopefully not disturb. I mean... In all honesty, sometimes this stuff does become, and I want to kind of come back this way. Oop, no, that's not going to work. I don't want to mess it up, so let me come back from this way. I mean, it's natural stuff, but I don't want it in my painting, okay? Um, that kind of just dissolve that up. Um, move this just a hair. Kind of bring them together. Sometimes you can do that if you got too many, um, uh, what they call the caterpillars or the worms. Um, I don't always hate caterpillars and worms, um, just so long as they don't look like a body part. There you go. Enough said. Let me go ahead and torch it and get these bubbles out. I'm very, very pleased with this, y'all. Y'all be sure to comment and let me know what you think. Um, if you guys want to pick some colors for me, that's okay, too. I'm cool with that. We can give them a try um, if I have them. Um, wow, 
this. Oh, I'm in love. I can see why people love doing these now. Um, and these uh, drippings on the bottom underneath. Oh, there's a uh, underneath. I'm gonna. I could probably get a couple. What's the call it? Um, dang, I had them out. I probably moved them. I had my tweezers out. And I'm sure I missed these aren't the ones, but I'll use it. Oh, now I lost it. I got a little frilly here hair. And that's okay. All right. Anyhow, I was saying I can do coasters with the overflow and make some jewelry with that. So I'm not going to lose anything on that. And I will use as much as possible. And I know I'm going to be doing this again. Oh, here's some on the side I missed. I didn't quite get over the edge, but, you know, that's simple right there. You just take your paint from underneath. And so it's always good to check your edges, your corners, your edges. Like this corner's not quite, but I'm going to start right here, kind of, and then just bring it over. So I've got a little different little ditty there. All right. And don't bring your spatula. I can't get to the other side right now, but I need to move some things around. But y'all, uh, there's nothing I don't like about this now. Look at it. We'll go from this side this side. Can you see those colors right there? Oh my gosh, y'all! I'll be doing more. That's a given. Okay, one last, make sure that, just so you know, make sure that you always go around and check your sides. Don't let the drip drips go down because if you do, they're going to pull your painting, your art that's on your canvas down with it. So I'm going to do all my maintenance after the shot, but I want to tell you thank you for visiting me. I'm so glad that you're here, and I'm so glad that you got to be with me when I did my very first uh, sandwich pour, and I think it turned out excellent. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you would, y'all. I'm I'm getting closer to 100 su su subscribers. This is video 16. Anyhow, I'm so excited. Y'all come join me in this journey because this journey is full of fun. Um, and it's one way that you can make your heart happy. If, you, if you're interested in anything I have here, you can reach me at happy... Um, art creations um, at gmail.com. You can also reach me on my Facebook page under Happy Art Creations and also on Instagram under Happy Art Creations. You can reach me all those ways. Y'all, my my um, YouTube account is new. I'm still working on trying to get some links together and things like that. But basically, everything I get right here, you can either get it at local, um, local stores, uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby, or online. Um, I get it some of my stuff, you know, on, on Amazon too, but nothing's too hard that you can't find it if you go to those basic places. So if you have any questions, any comments, be kind. Um, have a wonderful, happy heart day. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.